Keep coming, keep coming straight now. 
looking good. Just a gas tank, no big deal.
So I gotta say, I'm two for two on finding one of the most epic campsites ever. Um, a nice little pool here to chill in. Goes all the way up. Got a rad view. And of course, I'm psychic. I had a premonition. I normally don't run a spare tire and uh, you may have noticed that in my videos that no spare tire and you know my my reasoning is always i've never i've never had a flat off-road on the trail and if i ever have had a flat it's always been a nail or something a screw something into the tread now if you know anything about tires you can pull that screw or that piece of something out of the tread and five bucks, Harbor Freight, a little tire plug kit. Air it back up, I have onboard air, and air, uh, one of the ARB air up kits would work. But you air it back up, and you're back on the road. So I had never, ever, ever, I've carried a $5 Harbor Freight kit and no spare tire for years. You know, as you start tearing up these steel wheels, you know, that's why people have rash guards or whatever. You can see it more so on the front. But <clears throat> you'll start creating these really sharp edges on your wheel. And when you're running low tire pressure, if your wheel gets pinched right there on those sharp spots against a rock or anything, it's going to cut the sidewall. And again, if you know anything about tires, you can't plug a sidewall. That thing's ruined, the tire's toast. You, you, there's no fixing it, okay? You throw the tire away, literally. I watched the video and a guy ripped his sidewall open on the rock, hitting it against the rim. And I was like, oh shit, I totally forgot about sidewalls. I've never torn a sidewall, but damn, it, coming up here where we could go, these really sharp rocks everywhere. I was like, man, I had a bad feeling. And then I watched another video, just another random off-roading video 
and that guy tore his sidewall. And I literally, look, I'm getting chill bumps right now. I literally got chill bumps and uh, was like, man, you're gonna, you're gonna tear a sidewall. And I doubted myself and doubted myself and doubted myself, but then I had a bad dream, I tore the sidewall. And 30 times is a charm. Two videos and then a bad dream. So I brought my spare. Didn't remount it. Don't wanna don't wanna backtrack. I don't do that always forward. But I brought a spare. And as we were preparing to go down Black Bear, I pulled up to the steps to start the really steep descent to do the switchbacks. And the front tire hit a rock, no lie. And it ripped, I mean, it punched right through it, punched a hole in it, a little tiny hole, but it was like pss, 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 enough to go flat pretty fast. And then this happened. I'm not even joking. Two flat tires, one trip, 10 years of off-roading in Colorado. I don't know, I don't get it. But now I know I'm psychic. I'll never doubt myself again. If you have a bad dream, then just put it on the whiteboard as done deal. So luckily, the fact that I brought a spare fixed my front tire at the top of Black Bear. And now this tire literally just got whapped. And thank goodness, Rusty has the same wheel and tire size. So I'm gonna very gingerly, no pun intended, borrow his spare to get us home tomorrow morning after we camp. So that's the update for now. Thanks for watching.